Hello, we're here at the Riverside in the middle of England in Leicestershire on a little boating holiday. We've come across loads of this plant that we want to talk about. It's called mugwort and there are loads of uses for it. It is August now and this plant is in full flower and you can see its flower spikes grow right up quite tall, probably about six foot this plant is. Let's take a closer look at how to identify it. This plant loves to, look, to grow in disturbed soil, uh, waste ground and in ditches. So the mature plant has these leaves that are very deeply cut and uh, almost spiky in appearance. And as you get near the top of the plant, they become even more thin. As you can see here, different to when it's low down earlier in summer and spring. Now it's important to remember the underside of the leaves has a very silvery colour. Almost white, very pale green. Let me, let me take this leaf off and show you. Look at that very different to the dark green top side. There is a poisonous plant called monk's hood, which you don't want to mistake this for, but don't worry, it hasn't got the silvery underside. So that's a very distinguishing feature of the mugwort plant. The stem of the mugwort goes from green to purple. And as you can see at this time of year, it's definitely very purple. The flowers of this plant are, well, there's loads of them. There's probably thousands on this plant and they're tiny. From a distance, they give this creamy effect. But clo uh, upon closer inspection, there's like this little browny, reddy, purpley colour at the end. They're in lots of little bunches. A little bit like lavender or heather, they remind me of. And the, the plant smells are very herby. In fact, it smells a lot like sage, and but, but a, a milder version of sage and could absolutely be used as an alternative in your cooking, perhaps thrown on some roast potatoes or any anywhere you could use sage. There are so many uses for this plant. In Asian cooking, it's used a lot for savory and sweet dishes. Uh, it's very commonly talked about in folklore. So there's lots of talk about a connection to the spirit world, to elicit lucid dreaming uh, and to ward off evil spirits. Um, but commonly known uh, is its use, before we started using hops to flavor beer, we used to use mugwort, but apparently they stopped using it because it would bring on some very strange dreams for people. So they changed to hops instead. So the word wart means good for mug it was good for the mug so for flavoring ale this plant also has some amazing uses medicinally so it's particularly good for the digestion system so uh, any inflammation so ibs any chronic pain where inflammation is occurring in the gut it is very good for it's also well known to help with pre, no, menstrua menstru menstrual cramping. That's a mouthful. Um, and to help women who are on their periods to balance their hormones and also to strengthen the uterus in preparation for childbirth. Another use is to calm the nerves. So it has a, a stimulating effect on the nervous system, which will help to calm and to help you sleep better and reduce anxiety. It's perfect in a cup of tea. Now I found a plant that would just about to go into flower, which is a perfect time to harvest and made a tea out of it. And it, it is an aromatic bitter, However, it wasn't that bitter. It was a very pleasant cup of tea. I dare say at this stage in full flower, it might be a little more bitter, but it made a very pleasant herbal tea. You can harvest this plant when it comes up in spring, right through till autumn. However, I think the best flavor will come just before it goes into full flower and as a young plant. Another interesting use, which is really easy to do, is to make your own smudge stick 
much like people use sage for. And people would use this to smudge and smolder and cleanse an area of evil spirits and protection from, from anything untoward that might be lurking in the, in the veil between worlds. Very simple to do, get some cotton string or some natural string, get a, oh, the top third of the plant, a bunch of around six to 10 pieces. And you tie a knot in the top, wind it round clockwise, then to the top, back again, anti-clockwise, so it's nice and tight. And then hang this up to dry for a couple of weeks. And there you have your smudge stick. Well, there's a basic introduction to this amazing plant, mugwort. And if you're interested in the whole world of foraging and wild food, then check out the link in our description. We've got an online course, which is for beginning your world of foraging. And it takes you through every month of the year, what you can find and what you can do with it in the kitchen. I'd also like to thank all our patrons who support this channel and our Wise Woods project. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.